so that situation happened. Okay. Fifty's working on his album for Columbia Records, right? No, nah, he had a mixtape and he talked about it because they was talking about he had a little scratch on a mixtape. Well, well I mean, well, I mean, just during that time in general, he he's working he's working on music, right? Mm -hmm. And he does the song Ghetto Quran. No, Ghetto Quran came out before that. No, that was two thousand. Well, it leaked in two thousand. I think Ghetto Quran was good because Ghetto Quran was on Power of the Dollar, brother. That was. But that never came yeah. out. Power of the Dollar never came out during that time. No, Power of the Dollar was out. That that. I think it I thought it never. So, I, thought so. I thought it never got released by Columbia because it didn't. Because remember, well, well, Ghetto Quran well, well, was out in the streets though. That's basically. what I'm saying. It got leaked to the streets, right? Okay. So it came out. All right. Hell of a song, by the way. Okay, Ghetto Quran is is, is one of the best songs in hip hop history. Hell of hell of a song. Of course. And in that song, he mentioned basically all the Queens street legends. Okay. Yes. He mentioned you. Supreme, Prince, Fat right. Cat, Pappy right. Mason, Gus right. Rivera, Bimmy. Chaz, right. uh, Corley Wall, Vinny Ocean Palermo, who Tony Soprano is yeah, based yeah, on, yeah. Uh, Thomas Tony Montana Mickens, Rich Porter yeah. from Harlem, Alpo, Fortado brother, uh, Brothers, and E Money Bags, rest in peace. Of course. Um, when that song came out, what was the effect in Queens of that record? In the 50 that nigga. It's not like everybody know the stories. Everybody knew, you know, the, all the stories. But you know, when you know a nigga like Fifty, there's only four niggas that I know personally in Queens that wasn't scared of Prime. Fifty, E Money Bags, mm -hmm. Hamo, and Big Nose Troy. So like Queens, you had them three niggas between Big Nose Troy, um, Hamo, E Money. Them niggas that terrorized the whole Queens. You know what I'm saying? And you could read up about all the stories. It's all online. I don't want to. Yeah, no, I mean, there, there was a it, book but, written that basically laid out everything that 50 But those about. are the only four niggas that I know wasn't scared. Like, one day, I remember one day we had um, Carl Michaels. But it's how much I'm in the streets. We had Carl Michaels. My man, Old Smooth, had the Chevy Nova. You heard? Mm -hmm. And um, we pull up in Carl Michaels. Cream got the, I think he got the Volvo at that time. My man, Kev Brock, God bless the dead. He's in there. He's older than me. And my man get real close to Cream Volvo. And he say, um... Yo, if you scratch this car, I'm jumping out because the whole project's going to jump us. There's no Carl Michaels gas. That, I'm telling you shit. Niggas wasn't even outside. Like, Carl Michaels gas station and restaurant right across the street from each other. He was like, yo, that's how I looked. At, and this is an older nigga. He like, yo, you scratch this nigga car. But I remember Preem coming to the block one day and a nigga tried to, like, sun 50 and rub his head and 50 rubbed his head. Like, hmm. like and Preem, and that was the day I know Preem didn't like 50. And the whole block was like, ooh, because, you know, they had the kind of reputation where a lot of niggas were scared. Grown men, niggas older than me. But like I said, there's four niggas. Remember them four names. Mm -hmm. Boo Boo, 50 Cent, E Money Bags, Troy, Big Nose Troy, and Hamo. Them niggas ain't give a fuck. They'll run up on your mama. Mm -hmm. 